Oh, back here in Lagos, the governor, Babajide Sawolu, has named the state house and the state in Bagada after the late leader of the National Democratic Coalition, Nadeko, and former military administrator of the state, Rear Admiral Ndobisi Kanu. Sawolu made the immortalization during a day of tribute held in honor of the late Kanu, who died on January the 12th this year at the age of 78. Lagos State Government House correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedokun tells us more. It was a day of eulogies to the late military administrator of Lagos, Rear Admiral Ndubisi Kano. Dignitaries from all walks of life, young and old alike, all thronged the event with glowing tributes. Rear Admiral Ndubisi Kano showed true courage, showed great strength, and he showed unwavering leadership, one that one could really stick and stick about today, that he departed as a strong patriot. And we also want to remember his pattern lifestyle. In spite of the several privileged public office he occupied, Rear Admiral Kanu was highly principled. He provided democratic vision and meaningful ideas to advance historic struggle. He was a patriot and progressive a real breed in his consistent and unwavering commitment to social justice. Also eulogizing the former military administrator, Kanu's wife Gladys and son, Jeffrey, Nadeko leader Ayo Okwadoku and others described the deceased as a detribalized Nigerian, freedom fighter and selfless man who should be celebrated. Andrew B.C. or Andy, as I call him, was not just my husband and life partner. He was my soulmate and my true love. He was my other half. I feel truly blessed to have had such a caring, humble, and above all, God-fearing husband. My father was a man who, with all his achievements, was a man of principles and humility. And I know if he were here today, as he looks down upon us right now, he feels very honored. For me, I have no other business than to say that when you live a life of discipline, dedication, patriotic life as Ndubisi lived, you should be celebrated. Kanu, a retired naval officer, former military governor of Old Imo State and former member of the Supreme Military Council, the highest decision-making organ of the then military government, died on Wednesday. January 12, 2021, at the age of 78. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Oyedoku, reporting for Plus TV, Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.